What's up, people? It's another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pot. Seem like we've been a little delayed. It's this nigga Antoine doing too much as usual. Okay, this is not just a cooking show. This is a show about the culture. Culture, which means the hood, and I'm bringing the hood to you. We got sports, music, and finances, meaning all type of business business people, um, entrepreneurs gonna be coming to the show. But we, I basically put it down for y'all and show y'all how I became pregnant as a man. Too much eating. Today what we gonna do, we gonna do something that I very seldom do. I'm gonna cook for y'all a seafood pot pie. Sound good, don't it? It's going down real good. And in and, and today I have a very special guest for y'all. This nigga was slept on by a lot of the big co- cottages. Nigga actually went to Central Florida. This nigga was slept on in the draft. They didn't pick him to a hundred something pick in the fourth round, being very disrespectful. And the same nigga overcame all the odds. Was the first nigga to do three 100 yard reception seasons consecutive in the NFL. The same nigga been a six time pro bowler. The same nigga was. The nigga that broke the NFL record for 21 catches in one single game. And y'all ain't think I knew that shit, huh? My nephew, my main man, Brandon Marshall. I'm going to bring him on the show right now. Oh, what's, what's up, man? What you, you didn't know I knew all that, huh? <laughs> you ain't know I knew all that, huh? You be reading up on me. You Lake Howell How High School, Pittsburgh. Yeah, I know everything. I, I know everything. Hey, OG. What's it going smell on? good. It look good. They told me, they say, all right, so B. Marsh is coming to the show today. I say, well, what the nigga don't eat? They say, you're a press material. I say, well, how to spell that <laughs> shit? <laughs> I say, how to spell that? Right, right. Presbyterian. Presbyterian. Yeah, I don't know what that is, Presbyterian. We're going to have to Google that. And, well, you, you, you been eating good. I been eating good. You know, back in... 2017, when I was playing for the Jets and the Giants, actually I went from the Jets and the Giants, I read this uh, book and then I watched a documentary on me and that's when things changed for me. So, oh, I'm man, a Presbyterian me, now. So you see what they do, how they playing with us. Cause let me tell you something, I've been eating chicken for over 40 years and they ain't ran out of chicken yet. Ain't no damn way <laughs> it's that much chicken. That's the, it's that much, they farming it and they shooting it up. They got all kinds of drugs in the chicken. They getting bigger. Not only have you been eating it for 40 years, you seen the chicken go from this big yeah. to this big. I chicken, chick, chickens look like cows now. Yeah, I don't eat them. If you got them hot wings in your club with the drums about that big, don't bring that shit to my table. <laughs> so what else you got going on there? Let me tell you, I need some help. Like, you know, I don't, I don't right. ever come to you unless I need. Right. I need some help. Right. I've been trying to get a six pack. You got a 12 pack. I got a 12 pack. I need the six pack. Can you right. help me get rid of the baby. I, I got. Give me six weeks. Six weeks. Yeah, I keep hearing you talk about the baby. We're gonna get. We're gonna. That baby gotta come up out of you. Yeah, man. I we're can't. gonna get that six weeks. That's how I'm gonna do it, though. I got my own cookbook. Right. So one day when you you gonna call me, you gonna say, nephew, I need you to, you know, come in and co-host for me. Co-host for me. Bring someone else in, cause I'm gonna go on vacation. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach them how I eat. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what's up. That's seventy percent of it. I'm gonna have you eat egg whites. I'm going to have you eating protein pancakes, all of that. And I'm going to have you walking three times a week. How far am I going to walk? Give me three miles a day. Three miles? You can do that. Three miles a day? Three miles. Look, think about that. For six weeks? Yeah, that's right. I want you to walk to the gas station and back. That's about three miles. See. But when you get to the gas station, though, you can't <laughs> buy none at the gas station. <laughs> I'm gonna be thirsty than the mother. No. See, yo, if you gonna help me, see, yo, yeah, you gonna do that. this with me. Yeah, I'm gonna what do about riding a bike? Will the bike help? Bike, I, bike, walk, run. I'm gonna, get you to run. I'm gonna get you to run it. Now you need the Peloton. I don't need nothing with no foreign name like that because I'm not gonna be able to do it. Peloton, Presbyterian. No, we're gonna get you on the Peloton. 
What is the Peloton? Pregnant. The Peloton's a bike at home. You take Alex Two Shorts. Uh-huh. You take his class. Uh-huh. Hip hop, he be playing your music. That's what's up. Yeah. So now I just, I got this shrimp, they almost done to add the, uh, the scallops in this thing. Scallops. And I said CO to the stove. You know, CO goes to the store to get a lot of the, a lot of the ingredients they don't have in my area, right? And he always get the wrong shit. Y'all heard when y'all walked in, you, you said potatoes, not tomatoes. That's a different thing. Tomato is a fruit. Right. A potato is a vegetable. So we got the tomatoes now. Did we get, where's the potatoes at? I got the potato. I sent the potatoes is right there, the white. Oh, we got the potatoes, okay. So we, we got, got dry the... fruit. Mm -hmm. We got some carrots. Carrots. And what kind of onions are those, Trick? Those are shallot. Black like people eat carrots? Well, uh, they said, and you know, that's another lie too. They've been telling me all my life they have eaten these nasty ass carrots all my life telling me that carrots is good for your eyesight. Yeah, right, right. I can't see the basketball <laughs> score now. I be asking my homeboy, what the score is? I can't see the damn basketball <laughs> score. <laughs> yeah, that's we, what I did, I pre-cooked the carrots. This is the shallot onions. This is another, another that's kind that of onion. onion. Right there. Pull that out right there. This is a different kind of onion. Oh, that's different. It has a lot of flavor, and I got the dry peppers. They give it a little spice and a little sizzle, you know what I'm saying? But we do all this, okay? Before before we move for, forward, you got to give me the the history on this. Cooking show, how you got into cooking, because all we know you as a legend in, in Florida and then in the music, right? Like, how you get into this? Okay, so, okay, so, look, so. I been all right, so there was this girl, I was like, damn, she fine, her name Joy, by the way. I'm, I'm so happy to be married to her still, right? So yeah. I was like, how do I get her? Joy. And I found out she was greedy. <laughs> her and her cousin. So I, uh, her and Trina. I found out they were greedy, so I started, what I started doing, I started taking little small dishes over there. And then she started asking, you cooking today? You cooking today? Then I'll be like, yeah, I said somebody. I'll be like, Dominica, go get Joy. Right. I'll buy you, go get Joy. Till I cook. And then go pick her up. And, and, and that's how I got her. From that point on, I started taking cooking real serious. As a little boy, you know, I, I come from a, a, a large family. My mama was a single uh, parent with 11 kids. Right. If once the food stuff and welfare ran out, my mama had to go out there and get it. Right. We, we couldn't afford babysitters and nannies, so it was lock my door, don't open it up for nobody. Right. So as long as food was in the cabinet or the refrigerator, she knew we were smart enough to make it happen. So we started off cooking uh, Spam and right. Fried. Spam. And I, started, and I, I cooked the gourmet bologna sandwich it's called the the gourmet. Fried. <laughs> gourmet bologna with cheese, fried bologna with cheese. With lettuce and tomato, egg that was like mayonnaise sandwiches. Right. All that egg and rice. Anytime we had leftover um, on holidays, I would take the ham and cut the ham up and make make the fake ham fried mm -hmm. rice and all with all these things, right? So I had already had the, the basic things. So now I'm trying to figure out how do I get joy. Right. I'm like, okay, I know how to do it. I go home. I'm staying by myself at the time, so I go home. And I just, every day, I'm gonna add some garlic to this. So we got the shallots, the dry onions, the scallops, and the shrimp. And I ain't gonna overcook the shrimp too much. That's why I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my seasoning. Cause what we gonna start breaking it down a little bit. Real. And um, I practice and I practice and I practice. I have some crab meat here too. Lump crab meat, so it's gonna be crab all over this thing. crab meat. It's gonna be crab all over this thing right here. But you say you pescatarian, you eat seafood, right? No, I ain't. No, what did you say I was? So you're not, you're not Pres Presbyterian. You said Presbyterian. Pres Presbyterian. They trying to spill. <laughs> so, they, so they lied. They, yeah. they just tried to get me. I eat a little food. bit of this, a little bit of that. Just stop eating meat. I don't like to put a, a you know, I don't like to put a, you know, a title on it. You know, the, the reason why I still eat seafood, because I, I really love sushi. Right. And, and so, you know, I think. We got to continue to have these conversations. I like to eat good. I like the 80 20 rule where 80% of the time I'm going to eat well, 20% I'm going to have fun. Right. But we got to learn and, and uh, you know what we're putting in our bodies. You know, That's inflammation is where sickness and disease live. We talking about, um, you know, heart disease, certain cancers, sleep apnea. 
Lots I got all, I got all this shit. Uh, uh, look, you know what I'm saying? I got so, lupus, so that, apnea. Right, right, right. So, you know, I've been doing my research and my work over the years, and you know, been changing some things up. That's what's up, man. I, and, 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 and hopefully. I find time and courage to come over there and, 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 and take you up on that six week plan. If I fuck around, I, first of all, I'm an old nigga who think I'm young. I fuck around and get fine. <laughs> they, they, they in fucking trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What would the six weeks take though? What would they do? What would you do? So six weeks, what I'm gonna have them do is it's gonna be three meals a day. Mm -hmm. Okay, my, my cookbook. All right, I'm gonna have them eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, and I'm gonna have them have protein in between. Just a shake, just protein and water. That's it. We ain't gonna add nothing to it. Man, this man gonna die. No, no, <laughs> no alcohol. I know you like uh, uh, tequila. What about herbs? Any? What about any natural herbs? I'm gonna like? teach you. This was this sim simple for the first six weeks. Then I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna let you start adding this stuff, and we can get back to this. But I'm gonna have you. I'm you know eating a healthy veggie, a healthy protein, a healthy fat, a healthy carb. That's it. If it ain't on that list, you can't eat it. I just need you walking. We're going to start the first two weeks. You walking three miles to well, the gas know, station. You know what, 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 B? Let me tell you something, nephew. Check this out. You know I'm the CEO of president of the Eating Booty Game, so I'm going to have to stop that, too. <laughs> so am I going to have to stop that, too? Yeah, you got to. No, you can eat booty. Okay, <laughs> you okay. You can eat booty. That, okay, well, I think what, I can do it. So, so you got Joy, and then. No, I don't have Joy no more. I, my my husband-in-law have her right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's your nigga in law. No, this my, I, that's my wife. I'm her husband. He's my husband in law. So, you, I mean, you still paying? No, no. I, I stopped paying because I, I, I started getting jealous. But. How you lose joy? You, didn't, you spent all them years cooking for joy. I don't know how. Having I, people go get joy. How you lose joy? I didn't know she was going to go crazy on me. <laughs> I ain't know she was gonna go crazy. <laughs> no, it didn't go to show nothing stayed the same. Everything changes, you know what right. I'm saying? And I, I don't know what it was. You know, sometimes they say, you know, people just grow apart and they let you know, this is cream of chicken. Okay. I got cream of chicken when I put in this thing all for the, the flavor. This here is what? whipping cream, not whip. <laughs> whipping, whipping cream. cream. That's whipping cream. So it gave me my little, see, I got my little thing right. going right here. You know what I like about your cooking show? What's that? You do it from start to finish. Yeah. You know most of the cooking shows. They got the shit cooked, this cooked. Right, 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 right. You really doing it. Yeah. I thought this was all in post and edited. No, hell no. We okay. be doing this shit. I like it. So, but I I, I mean, but my, my, my main thing with Joy, I want to be a friend. So her dude is not a bad dude, but I don't know how long, how long that she got, they got to be together. But like I told her, I need to prove of the next dude. Like, don't just go get no dudes, cause yeah, these yeah. niggas is having relationships with my wife. Like, don't just go get any type of nigga. You, you feel me? Hold on, hold on. So that's still your wife? Yes. So you on that Kanye? I, you no, know, on I that Kanye. Me, but we don't, we don't have kids. But I wish a bitch would not tell me where my baby party was at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going dumb like Kanye for real. How you feel about how uh, Kanye handled the situation divorce with um, Kim? I think knowing Kanye and his way, I think he's handling it pretty good. Yeah. Kanye's a different dude. And I mean, Kanye loves his kids. Actually, I'm going to say this. Out of all the different relationships that Kim K been in, this one I felt honestly good. believe that Kanye really love her. Right. The rest of them, she like probably was a trophy or something. Right. But I believe that Kanye really loved this woman. I find it interesting though, like, you know, it's hard, especially dudes, you know, our egos, you know, you still saying, Joy, that's my wife. You got you. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, you. But it is still his wife on paper. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but not in the bed. No, no. That's not, not, you ain't, you, you yeah, ain't, you're right. you, you can't. Don't make me think about that, dog. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't make me think about that. Don't make me think about that. Because I understand, I understand how Snoop was feeling when he called out and Jody answered that phone. Right. I, I, oh, you felt that? Baby boy, I was like, boy. Right. I used to tell my baby mama, like, don't lie to my baby mama. I love you, ain't gonna mess with nobody till you get home. I was like, don't say that. Don't say that, don't talk about that. But it's a situation where at least but at the end of the day, when you marry a woman, when you live with a woman over so many years and you, you share body floors with a woman, you at least should end 
your lives at least still respecting and, and being friends with one another. Right. I just want to be a friend. She's mad at me. I, she always mad at me. So, 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 when, 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 when she start? You said she, she went crazy. That's what you said. Yeah, so when she, all this happened? Was this a year ago? Two years ago? Three years? Nah, ago? Nah, man, she been about seven, eight years. Y'all still beefing? She just keep going crazy and going crazy. Oh, you must did something bad. I ain't do no. Well, actually, we did, and <laughs> I always tell her that. Stop always bringing up what I did. Right. If you don't remember what you did, and I'm trying to be the man and, and, and not be a wuss and bring this up and throw this up in your face. Right. But I got a song I did with, um, for her. I don't know if she ever heard it, but I, I said it to Trina. But my intention was for Trina to let her hear it, you know? Right. Now, one thing about me, <laughs> I, I, I keep it real. I keep it real. See, you gotta get the uh, yeah, get, the, get the um, the oven pan. You gotta grab something hot. Oh fuck, I almost messed you gotta, up. Go, go grab it hot. Grab um a glove see, and grab see. it. See, see. Don't, don't do that. See. I almost messed up. Grab yeah. the um that that pan out there. We gonna set these on top of it so no juice. So I, I did a song me and Michael Sterling, and, and it's and it's it's talking about joy in the song, but it, it, it's like. I could have blamed her. Right. I could have blamed you. You could have blamed me. But we should just blame us because both of us is fucking up. Right. And relationships don't choose each other, B. Like, relationships. You, you okay over there, see? Man. You know we shooting the show. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> you over there dropping stuff, messing. You okay? You <laughs> need help when you see him. <laughs> we going to do this right here, yeah. Bring this over here. <laughs> We got that thing right there. Hey, B, bring that other pie, too. I got it. Okay, this is. Well, yeah. So we put that up top. We're going to put that under there. At the bottom. Don't touch that. Oh, yeah, that shit's hot. <laughs> so how long y'all was together, though? Because, like, I, I we've been together. Because y'all ain't got no kids. No. And see, that's another thing that made me mad. Because she was pregnant before. She was pregnant one time, right. and she ain't had the baby. So I'm like, was it my baby? Right. Was she pregnant for my nigga-in-law, my husband? Was my nigga-in-law at the time? <laughs> was she pregnant for my nigga-in-law? Like, what the hell? Like, why the, like, I'm a good daddy. Like, I'm a good daddy. You feel me? <laughs> I never heard someone say, <laughs> what you say? Nigga my nigga-in-law. Like, I'm a good daddy. Why my husband-in-law. <laughs> yeah, why you yeah. Because. One thing about when I when I even when I mess with even like even where I, where I learned this from right where I learned this from when two people decide to do something I don't think nobody outside of that should ever be offended or affected by it so if, if you women or men out there cheating you should go out your way to make sure nobody gets hurt because you're not really cheating. Technically, if you're not telling a girl, oh, I love you, I'm gonna leave my wife for you, you're the only one for me. Right. And I keep telling dude, you talk about all these girls you got. If you're not paying all their bills, those are not your girls. What are they? They running through us. You are victims. You know, women will women are run through a man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, women will run through a man so fast before you know it. Right. Especially in my number the body. Oh, oh, so we the tricks. Yes, we the tricks. And one thing about me, I, I'm a Libra, very sensitive. You're not gonna sleep with me and then walk by me the next day and, and don't, don't say speak. nothing. Don't say nothing. You hurt. Got me feeling like the girl. <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> no, she didn't. Right. Hey, but Brandon. And if I got, let's say, you better not have no boyfriend or no husband and I catch you cheating with somebody else. No, 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 baby. You need to cut that out. Just you. So you decide. You decide. I'm, I'm the number one side nigga in America. I'm the number one side nigga in America. <laughs> Bro, you tripping right now. Man, listen, man. I'm the number one side nigga in America. Listen, I, I will fuck around and be a fuck nigga that day and call your nigga and be like, hey, we need to talk, dog. <laughs> we need to talk. Dog, I girl is tripping. Our girl is tripping. I girl is tripping. <laughs> Like man, what you like you though you been doing I mean I, I have to question him like though you been doing your part over there? <laughs> like you got them shoes, right, you got them right, shoes right, I bought you? Right. Yeah. I'm doing gonna, me, you supposed to be doing man, you. Do your part. Like she yeah, you notice, you notice that she don't ask she ain't put that much pressure on you about the bills. 
Right. I got the lights. Right. I, I'm starting to see why Joy. Uh, I, I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see. Wait, his, his side a, girl got, got him so mad, he, he wanted to tell Joy. Listen, man, check this out. Stop it. I, listen, let me tell you something. And don't, and another thing, I don't, I don't play all that. Uh, what well, I don't like about a woman is don't tell me when the women put their, their pictures on social media, they look the best. They're always smiling. They got filters. They got the angle. Right. They got the face beat. The hair done. You never see them looking fucked up. And I know this from Cardi B. Right. If Cardi B said, if you if you follow my page to see me fucked up, you wasting your time. Yeah. So as a man, I do what men supposed to do. What the women is looking forward to. I man's like. <laughs> okay. So should my wife get mad because I like a girl picture? Yes. Why? Yeah, you tripping. Oh, oh, come on, oh. I mean, maybe our generation, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all got us fucked up. Y'all got us fucked no, up. No, oh, you know. can't do that. You can't do that. What, 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 if, what, if, what if your lady, what if Joy, she mashing like, you know what I'm saying? She see. It don't matter, but they mash it like Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald, big dude, uh, uh, defensive yeah. tackle. They just won the Super Bowl for the Rams. Yeah. So he like this, light skin dude, too. What if he posting pictures, no shirt on? Well, well all what of think that, about and she he, like, he, he don't stand a chance. She don't like big red niggas. <laughs> she don't like big red? <laughs> nah. What about Plus, what she if, want a nigga she that like she can fight. Like, she'll swing on me, so she ain't gonna hit that big ass nigga, so she he don't get a chance. If she if, if Joy cause you doing something wrong, she'll punch you in your shit. And yeah, 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 yeah. She ain't gonna hit him, so he don't stand a chance. So what if, what if she what if Ocho like the box? And Ocho, you know, he cut up. He, you know, and she like his pictures. And she like, but, but not, not just his pictures. A lot of people like Ocho. I feel what, 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 what if like his pictures. She. What if, what if it's like Ocho with no shirt I feel, on? Hey, I feel I, I feel a cousin and seen him with his shirt off. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna kill us. He gonna kill us. He gonna kill us. I'm done with you. He gonna kill us. But no, but no, I understand, but. She take pictures in her bathing suit yeah. and her her nice fitted dresses and her jeans. Right. I don't mind. The thing is, I we want our woman to represent us. Right. So yeah, that's mine. Yeah, look at her, nigga. Yeah, right. But he not he not supposed to be able to have her. Correct. That's so right. when you got some girls on the internet that I understand that they're promoting only their body. Right. And then when I get in a DM. They screenshotting the shit like they gonna embarrass me. Yeah. Talk about, oh, he acting thirsty. No, bitch, you acting broke because you keep $40. <laughs> talk about cash, sending me $40 cash app request. Yeah, what's up with this cash app? I don't know. What's, I ain't got no cash app. Y'all yeah. stop. I got zero. No. <laughs> Come on, cash app. Yeah, they, 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 they want a cash app. And I, but I'm thirsty because I see you in your panties. You look good in your panties. I want to see more of you in your panties. I know you got pictures that you didn't post. Right, right. Send me them. Send me them. Send me them. I don't want Get them. Get our cash up. Matter of fact, let's be business partners. Let's have business arrangements. <laughs> what, How, like, what women do is, women take out, they do a lot of withdrawing. They don't do no depositing. Oh. That's deep. They don't Ooh. do no depositing. That's deep. When your woman buy you something, Ooh. She's using your money to buy you something. Right. That's true. Ooh. Because every time she make a dime, you so happy for her, you let her do whatever she want to do with it. Go do, yeah, go do you. I think we Ooh. need to change subjects. Yeah, let's change subjects before we get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, man. Y'all ladies, please let us vent right now. Because a lot of times, what y'all problem is, your friend just want to talk. She just want to vent. But instead, you budge in, you bump in, and you try to give her advice. You can't give a grown person advice. You only got to listen and give advice if they ask you to. You that go. way, when you tell them something they don't want to hear, they only can blame themselves. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. And make some deposits. Make some deposits, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddy's Bitch, I Got My Pot. Here are the top 10 all-time highest-selling Southern hip-hop albums by a solo act in the United States. Number 10 is the late XXX Tentacion for his album, Question Mark. It was released on March 16, 2018, and went three times multi-platinum on September 15, 2020. The rap artist was murdered at the age of 20 on June 18, 2018. Number 9 is Ludacris from Atlanta, Georgia for Word of Mouth, released November 27, 2001. It went three times multi-platinum on October 31, 2002. 
that features the song Roll Out dun, 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 and Move Bitch, which also features another Southern artist from New Orleans, Mystical, who is also a multi-platinum artist. What's your fantasy with number eight? Back for the first time by Luda. It was released October 17, 2000 and went three times multi-platinum on May 7, 2002. Number seven is Master P from New Orleans, Louisiana for his album, Ghetto D, which features the hood classic, I Miss My Homies, and people have been playing that song for their lost loved ones since its release. The album was released September 2nd, 1997 and went three times multi-platinum on August 4th, 2006. Number six is Lil Baby from Atlanta, Georgia for My Turn with songs such as Heat Enough featuring Gunna, who is also from Georgia, Emotionally Scarred, Something to Prove, and Grace. The album was released March 26, 2020, and it just went four times multi-platinum the other day on February 28, 2022. Number five is Travis Scott from Houston, Texas for Astro World with a smash hit sickle mode with Drake, who is not a Southern artist. Released August 10, 2018, and it went four times multi-platinum September 9, 2021. Not just taking over for the 9-9 in the 2000s, but even in 2022. Coming in at number four is 400 Degrees is Juvenile from New Orleans, Louisiana. The album was released November 3rd, 1998, but the hood classic on this album is 400 Degrees. It went four times multi-platinum on December 19th, 2000. Number three is Master P again, representing New Orleans to the fullest with MP The Last Dawn. It was released June 2nd, 1998, and it went four times multi-platinum July 10th, 1998. Number two is another artist coming out of New Orleans, Louisiana. Lil Wayne with the Carter 4 that features 6 foot 7 foot, How to Love, She Will featuring Drake, and Blunt Blowing. This album was released August 29, 2011, and it went five times multi-platinum September 25th, 2020. Coming in at number one, selling a whopping six million records, making it the all-time highest selling solo rap album from the South is Lil Wayne for the Carter 3, released June 10, 2008. That year, my cousin was an officer because of that album, and it was a moment. The album went six times multi-platinum September 25th, 2020. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on album sales in the United States. Facts. Courtesy of the RIAA. Which album is your favorite album on the list? Who do you think would be on the list and is not? Jump in the comments and tell us. Either way, I'm Tamara and this was another Top 5 on Trick Daddy's Bitch I Got My Pot. Bitch I Got My Pot. Welcome back to Bitch, I Got My Pots. I got my nephew, the legendary six-time pro bowler. That boy bad. And he's from Single Florida. game reception leader all time in NFL. Yeah. And he's from Florida. Mm. I don't care what Pittsburgh nigga, what you Pittsburgh nigga say. The nigga's from Florida. The nigga went to UCF. Fuck that. There we go. Hey, but let me ask you a question. Now, if you had to do a versus as far as like football against a cornerback, who would that versus be? Ooh, a cornerback. Yeah. Well, I mean, it would have to be. That's a battle. It's yeah, a battle. It'd be a battle. Uh, man, I mean, I, I went to get some dogs, Champ Bailey, in practice for four years, and then I battled against them when we played on, you know, opposite teams. Darrell Revis. Darrell Revis. I would do. He, I, you, you he would do him. How would you stand against that? Yeah. In his prime, he was better than Dion. Yeah, and his but super, super. His thing Dion was, ain't gonna like his that. His thing was better than. Yeah, 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 that went over your head. That went over your head. So how would you do it? Hey, Dion, so, 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 no, 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 no. I, I, let, let me do, before we even get there, let me do, let me say this. All right. Battle against another receiver. Okay. Uh, okay. No, no, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's hard because, and I say this respectfully, you know, I, I mean, I played the wide receiver position, 6'5", 235 pounds. That's a tight end. That's a tight right. end. But I played it like a running back. Right. right. So I feel like there's, there's nobody you know what I'm saying? That can compare to my receiver style. That's Whoa. how I feel about my verses. They be like, well, who you want to go against verses? I say, right. well, go get two of them niggas to jump me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go get two of them niggas to jump me. So, and I'm not a hip hop nigga, but go get whoever so you want to get. they need two. They need two of them to jump. And I understand your style of play. And I, I try to see here, right? Like Dion, that's, that's. Hold on, before we do that. No, 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 no. Let's I'm lean in a little bit. Let's lean in. Who, 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 who you think is, who, who do you I'm think? To, I'm, I'm really trying to find a receiver. No, no, see. no. Who do you, you just, went, we just went the music. Okay, we get back, we get back to football. But who do you feel, you know, can enter into the stadium with you, in the ring with you, in the verses? Two, two niggas. Jimmy, two, yeah. Put Plies and Jewel now together. 
And you He applies in juvie to jump me Ooh. <laughs> I said it let me ask you this: Why you say plies and juvie though? Because because they're more they're more on my okay. So me and Boosie have a special relationship. I, I wouldn't do I wouldn't battle Boosie. That's my that's my dog. Right. I have so much respect for him. And, and, and when we go in versus this shit, gonna be serious. I'm, right. I'm telling you right now, right. that ain't gonna be no disrespectful shit. I'm not smoking on nobody. I'm not kicking in no master bedrooms. I'm not insulting family members and children or none of that. None of that. Yeah. But I feel like juvie and plies were more street and rugged when it came to that lyrics more like like I was. Right, right. And I I, I just feel like I wouldn't do it against Gucci. I wouldn't do it against Boosie. So I, I think that those two are left. Right. You feel like you was one of the first when it came to this street, which we call it street rap? I what believe I, I, I'm, I'm Scarface, Ice Cube, Tupac. There was a lot of street dudes. I'm, I'm Scarface, Ice Cube, Tupac mixed together. Bro, do you really understand your your, your place in hip hop and in, not just hip hop, but I'm, you tra- no, I, I'm you just, just saying I'm that it's culture. Do you, I'm do just you realize it? I'm just realizing this. I didn't know I was famous. I'm no, 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 no. It's a difference between famous and celebrity, uh, 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 and then it's a and, it, and we talking about uh, cultural icon. I, I'm realizing it now because I was riding home from Jacksonville last week, right there for you, and um, B. Smith was playing music and he played fifty. Young niggas. I knew three of the songs. Right, right. I knew five of the niggas' voice. Right. And the other 45 voices I didn't know almost sounded like the five I knew. And I had explained to them, I was like, do you think you're going to be listening to their music 20 years from now? And he was like, yeah. I was like, I don't think they'll ever be like that. They feel the same way about you. I said, well, one thing about my legendariness, is I'm here already. You got classics. Yeah. They got to get there. And I say because and their, their fans ain't, for instance, a Trick Daddy fan will argue with you. Right. A Tupac fan will argue, argue with you. you. A Biggie fan, a Jay-Z fan, they'll argue yeah. with you about these dudes. Yeah. They ain't ready to bet the house on it. Right. If I argue with you about one of the young dudes, you're gonna change your, you're gonna change the dude's name every five minutes. Cool. Correct. You gonna say this and that? What about this? And they're, 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 their fans are not loyal. Their but I'm not. But I'm not even. But I'm not even comparing you to this younger generation. When I can, when I think about Trick Daddy, I think about Jay Z. Okay, I think about Tupac. I think about Biggie. What you did for the South, and then also what you did for the culture. Like that's you. You know, and there I won't be no. And, and correct me if I'm wrong. You know, I played. I, I spent all my life playing. The Ti's, the, the, the they, 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 they don't exist. You, All of that. The, the, the Rick Rosses Man. of the world, my, my big brother, I love him. But like you did that, you started that. So like, that's what I say. I think, so, but I think, I, I, I think a lot of those dudes feel that way. But I'm so, I'm so blessed and so humble, man. I went to prison before my 15th birthday and went back twice before I was 21. Add that to the fact I didn't grow up with my daddy. I, I learned, I learned who my daddy was after I got kicked out of the projects. I, I caught a felony charge for the third time. They was like, "You got to get out of the poker bean projects now. Your mama yeah. got to move, or you got to go stay with your daddy." And I ended up going to live with my daddy. That's how I really got to know my daddy. But I'm just blessed to be a, even a part of this conversation so much that. I'm scared and terrified of what the culture is leading up to. I don't mind them making any little money, but I don't. I want them to know that it's important that you do forever song. There's a difference between doing music and making a song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a few artists out there, like I say, I'm not gonna name no names, but some of these artists don't have a record like respect, like Aretha Franklin. Right. Think right. of that. Right. That's like 40, 50 years. That's in five different generations. Correct. That's right. That's right. What's going on by Marvin Gaye? That's right. How many artists got? Whoa! How That's many different. artists got a nan? How many artists got to back that ass up? Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and, 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 and that's what I'm saying. Like when I jump in my '72 Cutlass or my or my '70 convertible and Paul, I ain't got no dunk. And then we can get in that conversation now. What is a dunk? I got you know that's right. a dunk on my back right there, right? That's yeah. a dunk. That's a dunk. Seven yeah. trades. Seven trades. Seven, 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 one, two, two three, three, four, and five. Okay, correct. Caprices. I'm, I'm a unbiased. sixty-nine and seventy guy. Okay, yeah. You 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 more the Chevelle type. Chevelle, Chevelle Cutlass. Right. Okay. I like the Impala, the convertible Impala, yeah. 70, 69, 70. So no, I'm not a dunk Ooh. guy. When I jump in my seventy-two Cutlass today, right? I can listen to Trick 
and it feel like it was 15, 20 years ago. That's, that's, that's the difference. That's, that, that's, because one thing about music, it's supposed to take you somewhere. Right. It's, supposed to, it's supposed to take you there, or whether, it's it's a, whether it's a present, whether it's a memory, whether you're gonna cry, or whether you're gonna smile, or whether it's that day when you met that girl, mm -hmm. the day when you and your homies were hanging out, they ain't no longer with you. Yeah. I do all those music. I did those songs. I just want to say this, and then we can move on. I'll give you your show back. You know, I didn't turn. I didn't came on your show. Took over as the end. No man, you you know you fam. But but but, you know, it's almost like a responsibility when I'm in Miami, and I and there's certain parts of the culture I tap into. Whether it's jumping into my old schools, you know what I'm saying. I'm going down to the beach. It's like I can't. I gotta put on trick. You know what I'm saying. Then I'm gonna throw in some JT money. Oh right. right. And then I'm gonna throw in some Ross. But like, oh. I gotta put on trick. That's a huge part of culture. So I just want to make yeah. sure you, you understand that. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just learning this. Besides that, what's in your playlist? What's in my playlist? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's crazy, because I'm, I'm from, you know, I grew up in Florida and Pittsburgh. Right. So, I'm, <laughs> you know, I love Jay-Z. Hey, one day I might be listening to Jay-Z. The next day, you know, it depends on what car I'm driving. I'll say that. Cause you if I'm like, driving my Mercedes, then I might be on some. I might be on some Jay Z. I got an unpopular opinion. I got an unpopular opinion. Yep. I've been like, listening. Nah. I've been listening. You know every time I say that, not getting trouble. <laughs> so I don't give a damn, though. Never gave a damn. But I'm gonna say this. I've been listening lately, and we're trying to figure out is why is everybody using the word "goat" mm. and "legendary" so freely now. Is it become like loyalty? Is it just a tattoo now? Because one thing I've learned, I watched Kanye mm -hmm. on a Drake um, concert special that they, they, um, they aired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A bitch got to bring it, boy, with Kanye in the verses. I don't care who they is, they right, got to right, break right, it. Right, they right, don't right. have to break it. I don't right. give a fuck. I've been watching and I think Kanye is number one against anybody on the verses. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I beg the Time out, time out. Oh, I ain't gonna try to be disrespectful to you, but I'm out. anybody. Ho. Anybody. Woo. Hey, let's switch something. Anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Explain that. I like. Why, I, why, why do you love about Kanye as an artist? Uh, because Ye is dead ass serious. A lot of times we play. We play around and we do shit that everything Ye did, they did it. It's like Michael Jordan. Ye did that shit. But Jordan got, you ever saw. I watched Kobe, uh, God bless the dead. I watched LeBron. I watched them go on the court, play it against their boy, boo, boo, boo. And I watched niggas become their fans. Be a Jordan fan. Your ass gonna get dumped on. Go out there and try to be friendly with Jordan. Right, right. Tell me, show me one time Jordan went out there and hugged niggas and shut niggas' hand before no. the game. We had we had Al Harrington on our show, and that's what he said. He said, like, LeBron, no disrespect to LeBron, he said, that's his fans. Right. Them and his homeboys, his little right. boys. He said, Jordan ain't no friends on the court. It's just, it's just different. Man, Jordan went out there and gave your ass the business. Look at AI. The loonest nigga played the game. Right, right. Next to Muzzy Bolder, but them, them is, them is That's why I'm hearing that come from you, because you from the South and then and Kanye from Chicago. And, and I, so are you saying, Chicago, are you saying, are you saying, give me your top five artists all time, dead or alive? Now, I wouldn't put Kanye in my top five all time, dead or alive. My top five is very simple and easy. Go ahead. Scarface, okay. Ice Tupac, Cube. Ice Cube, Biggie. Go ahead, say it. <laughs> say it. You trying to sit me up. You trying to sit me up. No, 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 no. You trying to sit me up. You trying to sit me up. Scarface. No, no, no. We, we already got the top one. What's five? Say it. Top five. Jay-Z. Jay oh, my God. All right, now give me that. Oh. Give me, the, give me the, give me the, back, give me the back, give me the backstory on this. Why? It's, it's not that. <laughs> it's a long story. Get, uh, but, that's what we for? Yeah, I, no, but, no, no, no. I, I can't even know. believe it. No, tell me what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the long so, story? Okay, so here, so here it is, right here. All right, before I, you I, eat, I, wait I, before you eat, we gotta say our prayers. And then since you in the house. You got to lead the prayer today. All right, let's go. I love this. Mm -hmm. Father, thank you so much for this time to break bread with my uncle and my brother. Father, thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to continue to, you know, lead the discussion, to lead the culture. Father, I just pray that you continue to look over us and our team so we can continue to do 
uh, something bigger than what we did in football and the music. So thank you, uh, Jesus, uh, for this food. Thank you for the hands that prepared it. My brother, my uncle, you know, the OG uh, trick. Uh, we just we just thank you so much for this opportunity. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Your parents did a good job because you, you, you speak intelligent. You always yeah. I, I, I like to see a nigga do an interview and don't make a fool of themselves. And I'm saying nigga because it's my show. Right. I'm right. saying nigga on my show. Right. But I, I love, I don't like when dudes, whether it's sports or hip hop, I don't like when they try to go out their way to be ghetto or hood. Right, right, right. Because being ghetto or hood is not ignorant. Right. You could you could be ghetto and still speak. I, I love correct, the way correct. you do interviews and the way you speak. No, I appreciate that. Plus, your wife put you in like a speech therapy class or something like that. No, she trying to because I, you know, the reality is like where I come from in Pittsburgh. The first couple years of my life, like I was right. in Pittsburgh, my father was one of the biggest dope drug dealers in Pittsburgh. Right. You know, so I come from the streets, but I played football and I knew my place. I knew who I was. I was that. I was that jit. Walking through and it's like, yo, you play football. And I remember the first time I, you know, I tried to, you know, smoke some weed, and I it walked up on the porch you. and they wouldn't let me. That's how it used to be. And they yeah. said, nah, bro, you tripping? They wouldn't like, let me smoke weed. He don't let me smoke. Weed. This was actually in elementary school, right? Yeah. So, anyways, my pops got out the game and we moved down to Florida. And, and, and right, he had the Toyota. The, when the Toyotas first came out, the trucks, the Forerunners. Mm -hmm. We jumped in. Everything was packed up. He said, look, I'm telling y'all right now, next time we come back, your friends, they're going to be dead in jail, and the, and the, and the, and the females, they're going to be they gonna be pregnant. Whoa. He said, this is why we moving. And we went down, we came down to Florida, we went down to Central Florida, Orlando, Late. and that was, in, that was in fourth grade. You know what I'm saying? So I got the best of both worlds. <clears throat> so Pops was that. And then we came, we came down, he took all of that money, he bought a crib, he brought... A pressure washing company called Water Force and some of the biggest contracts in Central Florida, like the mobiles, the, <clears throat> the Chevron gas stations. Shit, I was out there with them washing. And I, so I went from a neighborhood where we was, we had one white family to a neighborhood where we were the only black family. Ooh. So I got the best of both worlds, right. right? And my pops was on that. You know, like you're gonna be better, you're gonna push the generation forward. So you say I mean, that's, that's, that's why, too, I, give, that's why yeah. I give that's why yeah. I give that's why I give you a flower. Yeah. Right. You heard the first thing I told you? Yeah, yeah, Your parents yeah. did good with, yeah. with you and for you, right, brother. Right. Everybody be everybody think of all these excuses. It's the culture now, at times it's different. Or oh, you ain't gotta do this. Let me explain something. Everybody wash dishes in my mama's house. Right, right. Yes. The boys wash dishes, the girls wash dishes, everybody wash dishes. Right. Now, y'all want to do it by day or week? <laughs> right. That's right. How y'all want to do it? Everybody take out the trash. Everybody mop. Everybody wash clothes. Everybody do everything. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And and that's, I feel like, I mean, we still got that in in, in our culture, in our, in our households, right? But like, man, that respect got to be there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You got to have that respect. You're supposed you to, you to feel your parents. Yeah. Listen, if you got, first of all, if you grew up in the house with both parents, you're blessed. Mm -hmm. Stop talking about you own that and you bought that life. Because you ain't bought that life, said mm -hmm. Or the nigga who went you definitely ain't bought it. That's why he gonna tell on your ass. <laughs> Before we even move on. I right, too. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, I had a lot of questions coming in. I didn't eat. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch. We shooting right now around, you know what I mean? And, and so y'all you know, came in. I said, I'm, you know, I'm gonna really give him an opportunity. This can go on my menu from scratch. From scratch. Oh, you I like that. that. Yeah. Damn. Damn, you really do this. Yeah. You really do this. This a pescatarian. We gotta make. We gotta bring up. We got the pie. pie. You yeah. gotta. You gotta need something. And it was so easy too. You gotta think about it. And we gotta get back on topic. We ain't even get that the football, the verses, all of that. So. I mean, we talking, you putting it in your, your your spices, your seasonings, you doing all that while we talking, they come out like that. Man, that's a big deal, man. Yeah. You do this. Seafood pot pie. Yeah. Trick oh, wow. daddy style. Definitely. I ain't put no skunk in there, but I put skunk in there. It'll taste like mermaid. <laughs> what mermaid tastes like? Girl, you know. <laughs> <laughs> eat a booty game. What do you say? Eat a booty game. What's eat a booty game? I'm sorry. I ain't we're supposed to eat talk about game. football. Nah. We're supposed to talk. We're supposed, game. To, we're supposed to close the loop on so and many the culture, the culture. Eat a booty game is the culture. What is that? No pee pee, no doodle. <laughs> Everything from the rules to the tutor. 
the funny first day. <laughs> What up, B. Marshall? This is the section where we talk about what's cooking in the music industry. So glad to have you here with us today. Yep. And we're going to talk about Lil Durk's album. Mm. Okay. What you listening to right now? Like, what's bumping in your car? You know what, man? I'm listening to a lot of old school right now. Okay. I'm like listening to a lot of old school music right now, but I bounce around. There's not one thing I'm sticking to. I'm listening to Dirt. I'm listening to Push It. I'm listening to... Uh, uh, yak, you know what, what I mean? Okay. Oh, you listening to I'm Yak? I'm still listening to Jay Z. That's my favorite right there. So yeah. I ain't gonna even complain, yeah, but right. you know, so listening to Jay Z and that's my influence. That's my influence. Right. Somebody like Lil Durk, he put out a new album. It's called Seven Two Two O. Got 17 tracks on it. Mm-hmm. So this is the part I want you to help me with this album. The album start out with a fire, fire intro. Started from that's the name of the first song mm-hmm. on the album right there. What you think I should add in there for a fire intro? Energy. Energy. All right, let's put for some sure. energy in there. I mean, you said it. Yeah. It started off hot. Yeah, energy. Energy. Especially that Golden Child. I know you know the Golden Ooh. Child song. You know what? Golden Child is not for everybody, but that's a lot of energy, right? right. But I don't want to go with energy. You know what I'm saying? Because like at the end of the day. Cause what we gotta look at when these albums, we need it needs time to marinate and sit. Exactly. But also, you know, when it all comes together, mm-hmm. what does it feel like? Exactly. So let's go with a little bit of lemon. Okay, I like that. Right. But I really like Golden Child. All right. For sure. Right. It's one of the. I mean, you talk about you gotta pick five songs out of the album. Yeah. It's definitely one of the one of the five. Okay. And then I know you like a fashion guy. Yep. One of my songs, one of my songs I like on the album is What Happened to Virgil. That's featuring Gunna. Yeah. And I was surprised he didn't have a lot of features on his album. I was looking for a feature from Drake, you know, because he did a lot of records with Drake, but right. I ain't seen none for him. But just what happened to Virgil, what you think about that, like the fashion icon? Because you're a fashion icon too. I see the way you be dressing like fly. fly. Right, 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 right. So what happened to Virgil? You know, I think he's, he, he uses an opportunity to really tell a story, a couple right. of stories. Right. So you really got to listen. Okay. Um, you know, to me, um, what happened to Virgil is deep, right? That's something that, you know, late night, your lady might piss you off. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's one in the morning, two she in the morning, let me lot. go ride. Right. Let me go ride. Okay. That's the type of song, you know what I'm saying? Get okay. your mind, now, it ain't even about getting your mind right, but it's just how it all comes together. Right, so, so like, like uh, what you want to add in here for that? <sighs> give me a little lemon. A little lemon. Yeah, Some give more me a lemon. lemon. Give me a little lemon. Man, it's gonna be spicy. This drink. Right no, no, here. no, no, no. You gotta listen. It's seven. You said seventeen. Seventeen you tracks. Said seventeen tracks. We're gonna talk about the the highlights of the album. You know what I mean? All right. What about that shootout at my crib? You know, that's one thing I respect about homeboy. Him and his lady got in the shootout at his crib. They tried to home invade him and he made a song about it. He turned his real life into art. Right. So I kind of like, I think that's kind of fresh, you know? Yeah. What you think about that? Yeah, listen, it's not for everybody, but you got to understand like the art of it. Right. He got into the art of it. Like you said, that's his, that's real life. Real life. You know, that's all over the place. So this so is real. Me, so so give me that, give me the pineapple and give me a little energy, just a little bit of energy. So we're going to do two. All right. There we go. That's it, that's it. All right. That's it. And then, one more, the aha. You know, him and, uh, you know, I don't like all this beefing, man. Everybody beefing. We should have been talking about what's cooking in the kitchen as far as the beef, but him and NBA Youngboy going back and forth with each other. Aha was his response to NBA Youngboy. Mm, it's okay. It's... Let me stop you right here. Yeah. Let's put some lime in there. Let me tell you why we're going to put lime in there. I don't care about NBA Youngboy, what he said. I don't care about what Dirk said. Right. What I care about is, Man, y'all in a trillion dollar business. Let's right. get to the money. Get to the money. That's you what, know I'm, what I'm saying. About. Like, Ooh. have we not lost too many already? Already. Okay, so that's why I'm putting lime in there. And then one more. I'm gonna give you a something different, man. Broadway girls, man. Mm-hmm. Broadway girls is something different. He put the country boy singing the hook, start off the song. It was something different. Introducing country mm-hmm. to his environment. I think that's something sweet. That's something fly. And also, mixing country with rap is real dope. So, 
the some the same type of music, but we put it together. Right. That's what he did. So I give it that. So <sighs> Dirk from Chicago. Yeah. He talking uh huh. Uh huh. You know, and all these that rowdy rowdy. He talking about a lot. Right. He doing something different right here. He's trying to elevate and evolve. A lot of times where we come from, we don't really want to let our legends evolve and, and elevate. Exactly. The, sh the, the song is dope, but I can see people like, yo, what are you doing? You trying something? No, you gotta try something. You gotta try something. You gotta try something. He tried it and it worked. It worked. So I'm gonna put energy on this one and I'm gonna put some watermelon in there. That's what I'm talking about. Give me a watermelon and give me a cantaloupe and give me a grape. Dang, man, you feeling this thing up. The reason why, bro, because it's important. Like he tried something and it worked, but yeah. his, his day one fans, they gonna listen to this and say, okay, Man, this ain't really hitting my palate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a little different. I want that. Put a little that, tequila uh -huh. in there for you too. Yeah. Oh, we ain't put tequila in there. Put it right there. There you go. No, give me all the tequila. Dang. That's it. We in. They might take take a shot, bro. Yeah. Give me all the tequila now. You know, 17 tracks. 17 tracks. Seven two two zero. Little dirt. We gonna rate this on how this tastes. Yeah. So it's all on you. Let me see what this tastes like. Take that, I'll take that. Let me make a toast. Boom. Salute. <laughs> That's a nine, bro. That's a 10. <laughs> That's a 10. <laughs> Whoa! Man, I was about to give you like a three. I think it's like a four and a half, four. You gave it a four? Yeah. So this basically tells Four out of five. What, you're talking about a oh, four out of five? Yeah. I'm on 10. I'm on Man. one to 10. You got to tell me the rules. Man, four out of five. Four bro. out of five. Four out of five tigers, bro. Mm. Four out of five tiger like. That's good. That's good. That's good. I ain't think it was going to taste like that. Right, right. <laughs> We rating a we rating a drink on this on the album. <laughs> you got me. We getting drink. That's what's cooking in the music industry. Hey, like always, it's been a pleasure hanging out with y'all. Until we meet again, my nephew, the the, the legendary Brian Marshall. My Brandon Marshall. My Brandon Marshall. My 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 just, just don't call him Bill Cosby, because he is. <laughs> For y'all that think Bill, Bill got out of jail that something lied on him, no. You're damn lie. But until next time, remember, if you ever in Miami, go by Sunday's Eatery, where you get the original, it's the, mm. well, Sunday's Eatery is the original home of the fried rib. You can get whatever you want to eat for Sunday's meal on every day of the week, except for Tuesday. So y'all check us out, and remember, Bitch, I got my pots. <laughs> hey, make sure we take this to go, team. I want this. Oh, dang. Don't touch that. That's mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>